Hello everyone. In exercise 1.2, the first question is prove that under root 5 is an irrational number. First of all, we should know that what are rational number and what are irrational number. Rational numbers are those numbers which can be put in the form of p upon q, where q is not equal to 0. And p and q both have only one common factor. They do not have any common factor except one. So these are basically known as the rational numbers. Now, when we have to prove that root 5 is an irrational number, so there can be a question where we have to prove under root 3, under root 2, under root 6, under root 7, all of them as irrational number, that question can come in your exam. Now, first of all, we assume let under root 5 be a rational number. First of all, we are assuming that this is a rational number. Now, if under root 5 is a rational number, then under root 5 can be written as p upon q, where q is not equal to 0 and p and q have common factor except 1. So, when we square in both sides, it becomes 5 is equal to p square upon q square, or which can be written as p square is equal to 5 q square. Now, it is very clear that p must be having a factor 5. So P is having a factor having a factor as 5. Because when P square is equal to 5Q square, then 5Q square is divisible by 5 or 5 divides 5Q square, same way 5 divides P square as well. Now what we can do is we are putting the value of P as 5M taking another variable. So when I am substituting the value of p as 5m in this equation, it becomes 5m whole square is equal to 5q square. Further solving it, it is 25m square is equal to 5q square. When we cancel it out, so here we can say q square is equal to 5m square. When q square is equal to 5m square, it means 5 divides 5 divides. 5m square. That also means that 5 divides q square. It means the q term is also having a factor 5. Now, when p is having a factor 5 and q is having a factor 5, that means that p and q does not have any common factor except 1. Here the common factor is 5. It means that this supposition which we have supposed that it is a rational number is wrong and when it is wrong that actually we can conclude from this that under root 5 is not a rational number and when I am saying it is not a rational number this can be written as that under root 5 is irrational number in this case if in case instead of under root 5 it is under root 2 then also we put it under root 2 here we will get 2 here also we will get 2. P is having a factor 2. When we put the value of P as 2M, in that case we have to put the value of P as 2M. And when I am putting the value as 2M, Q square will come out to be 2M square. It means Q square is also having a factor 2. And when P and Q both are having a factor, a common factor except 1, it means that is not a rational number. And when it is not a rational number, it means it is an irrational number. Question number 2, question number 3, question number 4. Next three questions are exactly the same. Only the term, this digit is different. In the next class, we will talk about question number 5 onwards. Thank you.